Yet another in a long line of migrant caravans moves slowly northward into Mexico. One of more than two dozen caravans that began the journey in late 2018. Each one containing hundreds or thousands of Central Americans seeking refuge from poverty, political instability, and violence, and wanting a chance to begin a new life. This is an invasion. Trump calling it a, quote, national emergency. The caravans become targets for elected officials, but the migration northward has a long history rooted in poverty and conflict, and more recently, climate change. Mesoamerica is an iconic region with tropical rainforests, rare wildlife, and remarkable people. It's a place in which you can see evidence of a civilization that mysteriously disappeared thousands of years ago and know its living history through the indigenous people who still live in its cloud forests and coastal regions. Now Central America and Mexico face a new challenge, extreme weather events made worse by climate change. Rainfall is often unreliable. Severe drought can be followed in short order by extreme rains that bring flooding, landslides, and crop failure. Coffee growers who are seeing their incomes fall even as global companies grew wealthier have in recent years been devastated by a fast spreading coffee fungus. And so thousands attempt to go north, not because they want to. Few people voluntarily leave their homes to undertake a long and dangerous journey. They leave as a last resort and they will continue to leave until they see viable solutions to poverty, climate change, and instability. Solidaridad is an international civil society organization that makes global markets more competitive, equitable, and sustainable by working with everyone along supply chains. From small farmers to multinational corporations, our role is to build relationships and introduce new ideas and tools that bring innovation to scale rapidly. Over the past 30 years, we have seen great progress in Central America and around the world. Through our partnerships with regional learning and exchange platforms like Panamericana and the Mesoamerican Palm Oil Alliance, we have had an outsized impact on supply chains. But it's clear, business as usual is no longer an option. With economic inequality, already stressed natural resources affected by climate change, and increasing social unrest as governments and populations clash on policy choices, we must widen our lens beyond a supply chain focus. That wider frame is what we call integrated landscape management. If supply chain work focuses on collaborating with everyone involved with a particular commodity, a landscape's approach takes an even broader view. Landscapes, after all, provide more than food and raw materials. They also provide rural jobs, economic growth, energy, and biodiversity, which means we need to see, understand, and work within the full complexity of a given place. A focus on integrated landscape management is about co-designing solutions that deliver multiple benefits. We begin by convening stakeholders from different perspectives and backgrounds, often with different priorities, to engage in dialogue and build consensus. We use scenario modeling that looks at alternative futures in the landscape and ensure that people work together to achieve a whole range of objectives, optimizing food production, building climate resilience, increasing access to clean water, protecting biodiversity and fragile ecosystems, and ensuring the inclusion of marginalized people. With strategic financial support, we can build long-term solutions that create enduring social, economic, and environmental benefits. Underlying all these efforts are robust digital tools that capture trends and impacts that are of interest to the different stakeholders. Solidaridad has created the Mesoamerican Landscape Accelerator to accelerate our global transition to resilient landscapes and regenerative economies. In Mexico, for example, sugar mills in Veracruz can transition to renewable energy and improve water and air quality. This will not only have significant impact on the landscape of Veracruz, but also on the marine ecosystem of the Gulf of Mexico. Likewise, across the region, coffee and cacao agroforestry landscapes offer opportunities to restore degraded lands and watersheds using climate-smart agriculture techniques that protect critical ecosystems and improve farmer incomes. 
The potential impact is huge, not only on local populations and ecosystems, but on national and global goals for sustainable development and climate change mitigation. A key focus for our landscape approach is anchored in Solidaridad's work with the palm oil sector in Honduras and Nicaragua. Palm oil can lift whole communities of small farmers out of poverty, so families can send their children to school, afford medical care, and live in safe, comfortable homes. But the economic success of palm oil has resulted in aggressive expansion of the crop across coastal landscapes of both countries that alarmed many other stakeholders who saw their landscape changing and asked a number of challenging questions. What is the environmental and social impact of growing and processing palm oil? How do we balance commodity production and other pressing needs? These questions could not be answered by farmers and companies alone. They could only be answered through an integrated landscape management approach that gave voice to all parties. That's the work we have been doing in Honduras and Nicaragua for the past three years, and we have seen real progress. We have leveraged financial and market incentives for sustainable production of palm oil, diversification with cacao agroforestry systems, and natural resource management. We have helped palm oil companies engage in biodiversity monitoring and the restoration of biological corridors. By conserving ecosystems, we have increased the potential for ecotourism, and we are working to bring investment into the region to generate economic returns for farmers, companies, and investors, as well as social and environmental benefits. Our work has revealed, for example, a significant investment opportunity in using crop waste for energy generation. Such an investment will also benefit water quality in rivers, lagoons, and mangroves, and improve the health of the Mesoamerican reef which will have a global impact on marine life. That's the power of an integrated landscape management approach. With the right donor and investment partners, this work can be replicated across the region, even around the planet. Across Mesoamerica and the world, communities want to ensure the sustainability of their landscapes. Solidaridad's approach to sustainable landscape management helps find the balance of agriculture, ecotourism, biodiversity, food security, and natural resource management. Our work will have a global impact, and we invite you to help us bring it to scale.